Dickerson. It's going to come down to whether or not Stevie J can avoid Pat Tillman on the offensive side of the ball. We are just about set to Madden here. Skimbo rallied past the Dolphins in Z-Thumbs 24-21. After basically starting the game in airplane mode, he figured out a way to get through. And here is our AFC East final. These guys have already banked 10 grand apiece. Another 10 grand up for grabs right now. Now remember, Skimbo started slowly. Stevie J did as well in the first game of the day. Raiders offense for Stevie J. Packers defense, which is something we don't see a lot of, but boy, he sure uses it well. And Skimmel was going to the big chunk plays a lot in that first game versus Thumbs. I don't think he's going to be able to do that versus Stevie J. Stevie J is going to be sending a lot of pressure on with only a four-man rush because he has that Lawrence Taylor. Then he's added an extra 50 cap on onto him with that pass rush elite. Look for look for Lawrence Taylor to be a key part to this game. It's going to come down to whether or not he gets off those blocks and Skimmel is able to contain him. Skimbo has a control stick first, and he's got Andrew Luck as his quarterback. Guy that didn't have much of that in his career against the Patriots. Never could beat him. And underway with Luck having to scramble. And Skimbo right at the first down sticks. He will move the chains right away. And I like oh, no, to, I'm sorry, second and one. I like to see that early on. Skimbo taking the yards with his quarterback. We're probably going to see a lot of that in this game. You know, he's not going to have a lot of stuff open downfield. He's going to be testing uh, Stevie J's user to go deep down the field, and he's going to see some lanes for his quarterback to run the ball. He's going to have to stay true to his game and be able to do that. TJ Logan is the halfback, and that kind of sums it up, right? I mean, it's a guy who's looking to get the ball downfield, throwing it, not running it. And sure enough, looking to get it in the air. Got that comeback with B. He goes across the field instead to Jonu Smith, the tight end. And he'll sit down at the 35. And what that was, that's a delay streak. So Stevie J's running a two-man under defense. And the, the guy's assignment guarding that tight end just kind of forgot that he was guarding the tight end and went into a spy. So Skimbo releases that, that delayed streak. And that's why he's wide open down the field. Couple guys with a lot of been there, done that. Fourth EA major appearance for Stevie J. 11 for Skimbo who's on the move with Andrew Luck and firing. Harrison dragging the feet it is. Another first down, Marvin Harrison, slot apprentice. Great route. And I love what I'm seeing from Skimbo. He looks so comfortable out there. I thought this defense may give him some trouble, but this is exactly how Skimbo is. You know, the moment you think he's going to be in trouble versus somebody is when he plays his best. Luck will tuck it. And he'll slide near that 10-yard line. So it's kind of a methodical maneuvering down the field here, right? It's not like some big play over the top. He's playing absolutely perfect right now. You know, he's not making any mistakes. He made a ton of mistakes early on in that game versus Thumbs. He's playing perfect right now on offense. I expect this to be a theme throughout the game. On a second and six. And he'll just throw it away here, live to tell the tale. A third and six coming up. And again, the Stevie J pass defense, a big story here. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of cap at his DBs, and he spends one cap, a lot of cap on one player on that defensive line. He expects that guy to, to get free and sack the quarterback. That's that Lawrence Taylor. And if he, does, if he is able to sack that quarterback, expect to see Andrew Luck let the ball go. Got to watch for Devin White, too. Forced the game-changing fumble with a minute to go against AKG to get him here. Look for the running back out the backfield. And there he is to move the chains again. Boy, with the precision of a neurosurgeon here, Skimbo is taking it down the field. Yeah, and it looked like looked like Stevie J finally got Lawrence Taylor to, to break free. He was gonna get to the quarterback, but Skimbo, aware of that, gets it out of, gets out of his hands quick to the running back. Great play on both sides of the ball there. Skimbo picks up blitzes very well too, doesn't he? It is a first and goal. They'll mark it at the five. Touchdown. Ooh. Not quite, no, because they closed it up. And that's a rarity. I mean, even from in close, Skimbo, about one out of every seven plays on offense is a run play. He tried it there. And if that's not TJ Logan back there, if that's that Chris Johnson we've been seeing, that's probably a touchdown. That's a great point. Trying it again, and one more time, no sale. They'll lower him at the two. And it's very much by design, right? You load up with the great wide receivers at the expense of no run game. He's got Moss and Ross. He's got Harrison and Hester. Can he find a run game here on third and goal now at the three? It's really easy to make a mistake down here if you're trying to pass the ball. Your Skimbo, you got to play it smart right here. Play clock down under three seconds, and here we go. 
Luck rolling. Uh -oh. Come on, get Luck is blasted shy of the goal line. You want the quarterback to let that go right there if you're on the defense side of the ball. And this puts it in a situation where Skimmel's able to go for it. Expect to see a fullback dive here. At the one. Logan. He's got DeMarco back there too as a fullback. Logan. It's Logan, it's nothing. And what a hold by Stevie J. And you know, when you went stacked right there at the one yard line, it kind of baits you into going for it. I didn't love the call just because he does have that TJ Logan. He's only 15 cap. He's not going to be falling forward like the, this Eric Dickerson we're about to be seeing on the other side of the ball. Probably should have just take your points right there, but I understand him going for it. Unfortunate that it didn't pay off. Now we kind of flip the script and talk about a guy in Stevie J offensively who's not really built to air it out. He's got Eric Dickerson, and he's got the jukebox designation on him. First and 10 from the four. And it is Tom Brady against the Patriots, which I know is kind of weird. Probably going to throw the bubble here. Ooh. The handoff and nothing yet for Dickerson. I think the bubble screen would have got him some yards because it looked like that was Skimbo's assignment on defense and he just kind of left him. The stretch never looked really open because Skimbo had all his guys on the side of the field. If he would have went to the bubble, it would have been two on one on that, on that outside over there. I would have I tried the bubble screen. Late stages of this first quarter. Remember, it was a slow start for Skimbo in the game before this today, too. He didn't really get into gear until the second half. And Tom Brady under center. 31-3 and lifetime against the Buffalo Bills, by the way. And as we get to the end of the first quarter, we're looking at double donuts here. No score. So on a second and eight. Kittle, one of the tight ends on that right side. Lee Smith, the other. You'll see Kittle motioning now. All right, just going to see a dive here. Good call. And trying to muscle through. It's not happening for Dickerson. So he's runs really not producing anything for either side. If, if you're Skembo, you kind of want to be careful clicking onto that defensive tackle, Fletcher Cox. He just doesn't have the speed you want him to have. And if you get clicked onto him and Stevie J just runs outside of him, you're not going to have anybody up top to catch up to him. So I would be careful if you were Skembo. You might give up a big run. Got that AFC South final on deck. Who do you like in that one? You're not going to even say, are you? I, I can't say. You know, <laughs> it's going to be a really good game. I'm excited to see both players play their best. But you got a fourth down coming now, and you're so deep in your own territory. Both guys have Trevor Daniel as their punter if you're scoring at home. Yeah, you got a fourth and three, and from your own 11, there's just no way. Boy, that one is out of bounds near midfield. They're going to spot this at the 48. And what an opportunity for Stevie J to jump out now. The Clearwater, Florida native finishing up grad school, taking a break to be here and try to get some money in his pocket, try to head towards a belt. From what I can see, Skimbo's a little bit more comfortable in offense than Stevie J is. Looks like Skimbo's pretty dialed in against that offense. On a first and ten, Andrew Luck looking. And he'll shimmy free, and he'll slide for that first down. Great swerve by there, by Skimmel. What that means is he has that escape artist, so he's, and Stevie J had a, a pretty poor defender, 17 cap, uh, t Tavares Moore in a spy, and he's just not able to, to have that pursuit angle, so Skimmel knew that, just kind of ran outside and cut inside real fast, and he's not able to catch him. Remember, these players get 950 cap points now. Skimbo is spending about 120 alone to get luck with all these abilities. Escape artist and dash and dead eye. Luck firing, and there is the dashing dead eye. Getting Hester right across the middle. Skimbo looks very dialed in versus this defense. The red zone's going to be tough, but you got to just take your points. You're going to play good defense. The red zone's going to be tough to you, but it looks like he's between the 20s, it looks like he's very comfortable. He hardly ever audibles. In fact, only about 20% of the time, which is a really low number. Because confident in what he's got. Oh, and this time can't get rid of it. Andrew Luck goes down hard as Lawrence Taylor lassos him. I love that adjustment that Stevie J ran. I would look for Stevie J to keep those same adjustments probably and cover that dig route himself rather than covering the corner route. 
The pass rush elite designation on LT for Stevie J. That brings up a second and 15. And again, TJ Logan is the man in the backfield. Got Eric Dickerson on one team, TJ Logan on the other. All due respect to TJ Logan fans out there. Luck on the move. Throwing on the run. Into traffic caught. Move those chains, Marvin Harrison, who had the play of the game for Skimbo back in the club final. Oh, and a big play here. I'm so scared to throw a pick. I want to I wanna try Dotton. <laughs> ah! Uh, I already left three points on the board. I can't leave more, but God, I'm going to throw probably a pick six. Oh, well. <laughs> get Mo, you're, you're like unemployed yeah. here. You don't need to say anything. Skim we just Skimbo is always talking like that, man. you gotta just you got to learn to ignore that, man. Skimbo Skimbo's is one of the best passers ever. He's going to lock in right here and pass the ball. He's got that gosh and golly Oklahoma thing working. And he does throw. It is an aggressive opportunity here in the traffic, shy of the goal line. Here I am again. <laughs> yeah, the Patriot standard bearer is not from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, folks. Not run. from Vermont or Rhode Island or Maine. Nope. Claremore, Oklahoma, where lobster roll is not a thing. So we got that twang coming out from Skimbo, hey, and he's talking a lot. Second in goal at the three. Passed a two-minute warning in this very low-scoring first half. Woo! This fullback dive is not going to work. Didn't the other times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, boy, you called it. Every time in close, everything just closes right down for Skimbo. I, I would expect to see another fullback dive and then him probably just we take his points. Dot, you know, right he knows here. he's going to play defense. Play I would have liked to see Skimbo just stay in that gun bunch, even from the three-yard line. It's clear that he's more comfortable there. So if you're Stevie J, you got to know what type of player Skimbo is. He's going to run the ball here. Stevie J has just put up a firewall here. Still scoreless. He caught him. Logan twisting, couldn't get there. He's got a kick here. He, he absolutely can't go for it again. He knows that. Is that the look of a gambler right there? He's got a little wry smile working like, man, I want to go for it. Looks like he's going to. I don't love the call here, but just because Stevie J is getting the ball back at half and Skimbo wouldn't get it again. Well, he put it to the air. Can he roll out and, and just dunk it in somewhere? It's going to be tough when you're coming out in this formation. It's really easy to cover these guys. That's Hester out widest to the right. Now even wider. From the one on fourth down. Again, DeMarco in the backfield with Logan. Stevie J's not going to be fooled here. He knows it's fullback dive. If anything, look for Skimbo to take a delay game and kick the field goal. There you go. I love that decision. No point in trying to lose yourself the game right here. You're still, take the lead, give yourself a chance to fight in the second half, even if Stevie J is able to get points here. I, I really, really like the call to kick the field goal. I think Skimbo is really, really prepared on defense, and sometimes you have to give yourself credit for that. There are the first points of the game, but boy, defensively, the, the snake is going after the field mouse here, Mo. I mean, you got to give Stevie J some credit. Yeah, it, and down in the red zone, it looks like Skimbo isn't very comfortable. Look for him to make some adjustments later on this tournament if he's able to get through this game. But it looks like he's not very comfortable in the red zone right now. And Stevie J, you got to get something going on offense because, yes! uh-oh. Yes! Tyree yes! Kill and the ball's out! That's why you get enforcer! And I'm not kidding. Skimbo told me that before the tournament. He said when, he said the sole reason I got Pat Tillman enforcer is for the kickoffs because people don't expect Come to ever on, see him on the kickoffs. And together. if he's able to get uh, matched up against the wide receiver or cornerbacks, he's going to force the fumble. He won't get the fumbles versus the running back, but if he's able to hit a cornerback or a running back, or a wide receiver, excuse me, he will force a fumble. And that's exactly what he told me. It's amazing when stuff like that pays off exactly how you say it will. Isn't that something? Pat Tillman does come through for him, and now Luck looking firing and he's got Marvin Harrison near the 10. Oh, man. Andrew Luck seven of eight for Skimbo to start. And you know that's exactly why you kick the field goal. You know you give yourself the opportunity to get a stop before half and then you're able to tack on. You know sometimes you don't have to score with your offense. Let, let your special teams or your defense get you the ball back. Really good to, that that kick in that field goal could be the difference in the game. Well a lot of defense having to be played by Stevie J in the first two quarters. He did a masterful job for a while. But at some point, you figure that that dam just breaks and the water comes rushing through. I would expect Skimbo to be pretty comfortable passing versus 3-4 defense down here. Luck surveys. He's got Logan. 
And he'll tumble oh down God. just a little shy of where he wanted to be. He's at the three. He knows he can't pass the ball from the three yard line. And you know, that's clear. He's gonna have to go, he, he's gonna have to get in the lab and find a play for the three yard line. You know, this. I understand it's tough, but you know, you chose not to spend cap on your running back. You gotta find a way to get in down here. On a second in goal, 30 seconds left in the half. And again, they try it with TJ Logan and it's just not there. He may be more comfortable from the five than he is from the three. I know that sounds silly at home, but he's gonna be able to pass oh, the ball. Really he has a little bit more space to pass there, the ball here. I would look for him to be much more confident from the five yard line than he is from the three even. We've got that wide receiver tandem of Moss and Ross, which is pretty boss. <laughs> he has not had a chance to use it yet. And you certainly wouldn't expect it here. 10 seconds left, each player with one timeout. And the winner moving on to face Joke. The Cleveland Browns coming out of the AFC North. Probably going to see Mesh post again. If he doesn't throw it to the running back, look for X, that post route coming across the middle. Harrison, part of that bunch. He's the X going out wider now to the left. Looks like he's going to have the post. We got him. We got him. Drills it in there. Touchdown, Skimbo. Skimbo just doesn't miss reads like that, you know. I would have liked to see him just kind of use the post himself and pray that his defense is able to stop TJ Logan on the wheel. You, you know, TJ Logan is such a low overall player. If you're able to man him up, he's probably not going to break open. But that post route, Marvin Harrison, he's going to get open versus everybody. And he found a sweet spot, fitted in right before his user could get there. Just a great read by Skimbo. And he, that's, that's, how, that's what he does, man. He does not miss opportunities like that. Tyreek Hill will run it out and has a moment to escape. Let's go back to the first touchdown of the entire game. It looked like he would have had the running back even if he waited another second, but he knew that he had that post if he threw it just at the perfect time. He's not going to miss that read. That's your Snickers touchdown replay. Now keep in mind Stevie J was down 10 nothing at the half and advanced earlier today. He's going to be down 10 nothing here. He was able to sneak past the Jets, and now he's got to do the exact same thing against the Patriots. And a belt winner in Skimbo. 10 nothing at the break. And a big break for Skimbo, getting that Pat Tillman jar the fumble thing. And that really turned it. He's been very animated, and he's been mic'd up as well. Mic'd up, wired up at the club. I'm so scared to throw a pick. Oh my God, I want to go for it again. Oh my God. Ah, oh, I just wasted a drive on my stop. Yes! 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 We got him! We got him! Let's go! Seven so huge! Bringing some emotion is Michael Skimbo as we bring you this AFC East title game. Madden 20 Championship Series presented by Snickers. And don't forget the one-hour TV special on ESPN2. All the best action of all four days. It's on December 27th, 8 Eastern on ESPN2. But thank you very much for joining us wherever you're joining us. On Twitch, YouTube, thank you for finding us. Josh Lewin along with Sirius Mo. We had a serious opportunity now for Stevie J to make a statement. He's going to get the ball here. Yeah, that, that, that Tillman and Forster on the kickoff, the difference in the game right now. You know, he spends a lot of cap on him but it doesn't matter if he's able to make one stop, turn the ball over on his own side of the field, made it so easy for Skimbo. Even if he didn't get a touchdown there, he's gonna go up by six, just free points right there, directly from Pat Tillman. Great scheme by Skimbo, you know, that's just, that's that's paying off. You know, when you spend so much cap on a player, you need that to happen one time for it to matter. Tom Brady, the San Mateo, California native, not too far at all from our studios here in Redwood City. And he's got Eric Dickerson there to hand it to, and Dickerson slamming forward, he'll gain the 30. That's five times that Stevie J has tried to rush with ED, and it's only 14 yards on the ground. I want to see him go back to that and look for the bubble screen, because it looks like Skimbo's guy is manned up on the other side of the field. Dickerson again. Uh-oh. He gets belted. You know, Eric Dickerson's size looked like he might have got him tackled. If that was that Chris Johnson, a little bit smaller of a frame, he might have been able to sneak through there. Hall of Famer Eric Dickerson. And remember the jukebox designation on him here. It's a third and two. Might see a stretch right here. 
You got tight ends to block over there, including big George Kittle. Tyree Kill in the slot. Over there on that left side. He's going to take a shot. See Denzel Ward backing up just a little bit. One of the, the corners here. Great read. Yep, there it is. It's Tyree Kill. A lot of green grass. Tyree Kill down the sidelines, chased, and finally dumped at the 15. That bubble has been there, but that was wide open. That's a great read right there by Stevie J. I'm glad to see he didn't try to cut back in front of that Pat Tomey. Would have ate a hit stick, probably fumbled again. Really good decision to just get as many yards as you can. You're down at the 15-yard line now. Keep yourself in the fight. That's all he's doing right now. Pat Tillman's been a beast. Touchdown saving tackle there. You're right. And the man that forced the fumble earlier, leading to the only touchdown of this game. 3.13 left third quarter. The winner moves on to play joke. And we get a timeout. Ah, dang, these kids. <laughs> this is as animated as we've heard Michael Skimbo. Guy that wanted to play baseball professionally. A really good left-hand pitcher growing up in Oklahoma, playing with guys like Dylan Bundy and Archie Bradley. Then he got hurt. Now he's found a different profession. A sponsored performer here. Dickerson crushed on a first down carry. And something I like that I've seen out of Skimbo, a lot of people are afraid to use those timeouts in the second half because they mean so much. But Skimbo with the two-possession lead realizes if he's able to stop Stevie J to the three points here, it creates a, such a big gap in this game where his timeouts won't matter. So he's just comfortable using that timeout rather than not using it and giving up a touchdown. Oh, Dickerson able to squirm free. He gains, looks like about the seven yard line here. They'll call it the eight and bring up a third and four. What do you like on third and four here, Mo? Yeah, I, we're probably gonna see a run here out of Stevie J. You know, he's not equipped to pass the ball every play. I would, I would expect to see a dive here. Runs a stretch. Dickerson back inside and boogies on uh, in. Touchdown, it. Buffalo. No angle lay down, fam. You know me better than that. Stevie J crawls back in it. It'll be 10-7 with an extra point. Great vision right there by Stevie J. Skimbo took his user outside and Stevie J cut it right back up. Really good user by, the, by Stevie J right there. Got the TD from ED. Eric Dickerson able to get on over. And the cone of silence descends on Skimbo at least for a moment here. Logan burns a little rubber. Look at this, oh. return out near midfield. That was unexpected. This, I guess, more expected, though, right? Dickerson finally going home. Yep, Stevie J just kind of read where Skimbo's no, user going. You know and, you know, he just cut it right back right in front of Skimbo's face, not able to make that play. Great play right there by Stevie J. All right, am I exaggerating saying this now becomes the drive of the game, momentum and everything else? Yeah, if you're Skimbo, if you're able to get seven on this drive, it's huge. But if you're Stevie J, I wouldn't mind playing that same defense you've been playing and kind of get him stuck in that red zone. But you just don't want to over-adjust here and give up a big play. Only 26 rushing yards for Skimbo, but again, that's not really his thing. He's got Tyree Kill motioning. And he's got Luck. Uh-oh, that's a Firing on the what? run! What? Oh, knocked away! Or was it dropped? What just happened? What just happened, though? Looked like that was an overthrow by his quarterback and his and the defender just didn't react. Nobody reacted to the ball. I don't even know what that happens happened. sometimes when, when the player when the ball doesn't go to the designated receiver. The other receiver is not able to make the play. But I'm surprised Stevie J's comp uh, user player wasn't able to pick that off. Wait, what happened? If you're Skimmo, you gotta get over that play. You know, who cares what happened? If you're Stevie J, you gotta get over that play. Nobody cares what happened at that point. We're, we're on second down now. It, it's a Redwood Forest of question marks, though. Nobody seemed to know exactly what that was. In the coverage, dive and catch in front of Palomalu for Marvin Harrison. I want to see Stevie J go right back to the zone coverage that, that he's been playing. This man coverage, Skimbo has figured out. I would I would try to mix in that zone again. Maybe send a couple extra guys, get that inaccurate throw maybe by Andrew Luck and pick the ball off. Getting late in the third quarter here at Pizza Hut Stadium. Andrew Luck back. On the move. Great user. Gosh. Right. Getting rid of it to bring up now a second and ten. That was a really good user. He took away the corner route and the dig. Those routes are ran about 30 yards away from each other, and when you're able to take away both with the linebacker, that's saying something. And again, if you're just joining us, nobody passes the ball like Skimbo, but nobody defends the pass like Stevie J. It's such a fun matchup here. We're playing chess at 100 miles an hour. Luck 
crushed! Oh man, Let's back go. near midfield. Lawrence Taylor, hello. And that's why you pay that LT. You need him to make a couple plays like that a game and it's gonna pay off. And he makes one right there. Takes Kimbo uh, out of field goal range. Just, that's huge, out. third and 22. And yeah, you can stay within a field goal if you don't give 10 or 12 yards back here, right? And you know, that's the problem. When you're playing a player like Skimble, he's so, he's so, he knows where all the big plays are at. He knows exactly when to hit them. So you kind of are trying to play bend, don't break right here, but you can't give a field goal. So it's a really tough situation for you. Luck throws on the run. This is incomplete and it's fourth down. And again, that lockdown defense for Stevie J is carrying him against the favored Skimbo. Great defense right there. It looked like Skimbo could have waited another second, maybe been able to make that pass, but Denzel Ward way too fast. Going to make that play a lot of the time. And Daniel to sock it away here on the fourth and 22. Angles for that sideline. And beyond Coffin Corner, that one almost in the stands. Not a very good punt right there. Only a 20-yard punt. You almost want to just see him go for it if he's going to punt it like that. Not his best punt. We seen him punt the ball earlier and knock somebody down at the four yard line. I was expecting to see oh, another one just like that. So do not this. adjust your set. Tom Brady is trying to lead a comeback against the Patriots. He's gonna have the stretch wide open on the left. Going that way, good call, Mo. And he can't escape Troy Apke trying to turn that corner. And it looked like if Stevie J was a little bit more confident with his stick right there, he could have just juked out Troy Apke for a touchdown because that it looked like when Skimbo clicked off with that Pat Tillman, he just kind of dove inside. Really unfortunate there for Skimbo, but luckily it doesn't it doesn't hurt him too bad. At some point, does he find Marvin Harrison? I know he had a stop and go stick route for a touchdown in the first game of the day. Dickerson to the outside Come and then on. blasting three. Past midfield at the 40. Eric Dickerson takes it in the field goal range. You know, you don't see that a lot. You don't see Pat Tillman getting juked out a lot. I don't even like juking against him because he always makes the tackle. It looked like Skimbo's guy just kind of dumbed out and Eric Dickerson juked him out. Nobody there to tackle him. And now he's down at the 24 yard line. If you're Stevie J though, you gotta get seven on this drive. And we are down to where we say four is up in a three point game. Wow, 10-7, New England and Buffalo. Skimbo and Stevie J. Fourth quarter presented by Snickers. Oh no, no, don't try to This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. We have a sword fight atop a moving train here, partner. This is going to be a fun finish. Yeah, this has truly been a phenomenal fight by Stevie J, you know. It's been really tough for him to get a stop on defense, but he's just kept fighting, kept fighting, ends up getting that sack, able to get the ball back, and has a huge play with Eric Dickerson. Really, really composed right now. I love to see stuff like this out of Madden players. Two guys who know the terrain. 53000 in prize money already for Stevie J as Dickerson gets lassoed. And drag back a little bit. That's just pocket change. We talk about that amount of money. <laughs> when you look at Skimbo, who's almost at $300,000 that he's taken home in tournaments like this. It's the 16th major. 16 belts available. 15 have already been given out. Two of them taken by my partner, Sirius Mo. And of course, Skimbo has had a hand in some of that too. Right now, we're down to a final 15 players remaining. As Dickerson goes Ooh. up the middle, and Pat Tillman found him. You don't want to juke into that guy too many times. I know people feel like you can't fumble very much on this game, but you don't want to take any risk in fumbling in this situation. You've been playing pretty good defense. From the looks of it, Stevie J doesn't really mind going back on defense because he has got a few stops versus Skimbo. And I think we might see a run here, even though it's third and seven and he is down by three. You're in uh, field goal range anyway, right? I think we're going to see a run here, honestly, because I do feel like he's pretty confident in his defense. He wants his defense to go ahead and win him this game. He doesn't want to force a mistake here passing the ball. He's been leaning and leaning on Eric Dickerson this entire game. Marvin Harrison is out to the left side, got the X over him. Looks like we will see a pass. And the motion to the right side. Ooh. Oh, with the flag down and the, the zeros on that play clock. This gets really scary now because if you take a sack out of field goal range, it's demoralizing. He might be more inclined to run the ball here than he was before. 
Um, it is now a third and 12 with 3.41 remaining in regulation. We've seen a couple OTs here today in Redwood City already. Brady flings it. It's Dickerson, and he's belted. And Tom Brady's only put it in the air twice for Stevie J. Great user tackle there by Skimmel. If he doesn't click on right there, he might be able to juke out that Devin White. He's a low cap defender. Just a really good click on tackle by Skimbo. 40-yard field goal attempt. And this thing is dead letter perfect. This is a 10-10 game. But now you've got the offensive-minded Skimbo with the football back, Mo. Yep, Skimbo's going to try to take the rest of this clock and kick a field goal. It's going to come down to whether or not Stevie J can stand up for himself and get a stop. Clock management obviously huge now. I don't understand this kickoff. He kicked it right to Devin Hester. Ooh. Oh, but he, he wipes out Devin Hester anyway, does Stevie J, so he might have gotten away with something. I think that might have been a mistake right there. I don't think Stevie J was intentionally kicking it to him. I think he was thinking that maybe that would go to the running back, but it ended up being Devin Hester over there. Skimbo, 94 points in his last four games into this one. He's got 10 right now, and you might be right, Mo. 13 might be the magic lucky number here. Win at 13-10. Yep, I, that's exactly what Skimbo's hoping the score is. You know, he doesn't want to score any more than that, I promise, because if so, that probably meant he lost the game. He's got Hester out wide left. Andrew Luck on the move. He's got him. Up over the top to Hester, you bet! Skimbo, that's one person that just doesn't miss those plays. He's always got his eyes on the field. You know, that was something that broke open really, really late. He keeps his composure and stays in the pocket, rolls out. Just a great play there by Skimbo. Still 2.52 to go, though. So now it's not like you can completely squeeze every second out of the clock. 13-yard line, the line of scrimmage. And Luck getting rushed. Oh, he lost the ball, picks it back up as LT got in there again. When LT gets a hold of that quarterback, it looks like he's making that ball come free. He just beat the crap out of Skimbo's center. Gets, gets in the backfield, you know, you need him to pick the oh ball up right there. It's, it's tough when Tom Brady beats LT to the ball. And to tell oh a tale, Stevie J grew up a big-time Giants fan, not a Bills fan. He wants Lawrence Taylor on his team no matter what. Andrew Luck, by the way, getting to the ball before yeah. LT, not, not, not Tom. <laughs> but either way, you were thinking Lawrence Taylor might just put that thing in his pocket. Of course, the Giants beat the Bills in a memorable Super Bowl years ago. If Scott Norwood is watching our our stream here. This is where Skimbo is kind of susceptible to make mistakes. You know, this is a situation where I would run the ball twice because there is only two minutes left in the game. Don't You don't want to give your opponent more time. Out of bounds. And what I'm saying there is, you know, Stevie J is a run first player. And if he gets the ball back with a minute, four, 20 seconds, it's going to be really tough for him to score points when but if you get out of bounds, you know, you're giving him three timeouts. He's going to be really comfortable still just running the ball. You know, even the best players can make mistakes. You know, I make a ton of mistakes. Skimbo makes mistakes with clock management. Everybody does it. Well, now on third and 14. You can get the, the first down without the touchdown here, by the way, which might be the very best thing going. I wouldn't be surprised to Skim see Skimbo check down here inbounds, keep the clock running, make Stevie use a timeout. Back goes Andrew Luck. Got the dig. Across, and yes, sir, that's exactly what he wanted because he's got the first down without the touchdown. Oh he can God, start to wind score. clock. I don't really know what happened to Stevie J's defense right there. You just Man, can't give it up. Zone. You can't give it up right there. And if you're Skimbo, I understand you don't get in the end zone there, but it may be a better situation because Stevie J had to use his timeouts. Even if you get stopped right here on first down, it's not really a big deal because you get those timeouts away from Stevie. They put it at the one-yard line. And there's the touchdown, yes. but with plenty of time on the clock. T.J. Logan takes it across, but a full buck 47 and a couple of timeouts for Stevie J. Stevie J's got a chance in this game, but I don't love his, his, his chance here. It's not a very good opportunity. When you're a run first player, you don't like being pressed against the clock, and he's going to have no choice but to pass the ball in a lot of these situations down the stretch of this game. Tyree Kill will rev the engine. This could change some things. We can bounce outside, but he can't. And Mo, remember earlier in the game, down that close, it was no sale after no sale after no sale, trying to hand the ball off and get across from around the one or two yard line. 
But that time he, he actually got it done, did Skimbo. Yeah, he was able to sneak in there right there. The D tackle just didn't shoot in how they were shooting in before. Skimbo knows how to play this on defense. You know, he's going to be playing bend, don't break. He's not going to give up any big runs. He knows Stevie J is still going to try to run at the beginning of this drive. And there is the run, a little slash inside for Dickerson, who still has a little bit of giddy up out there. It looked like he had a chance to break right there. He just didn't. 66 yards to go. And 115 or so to get there. I don't know why he's audible and around. You don't have time for this. Yeah, he's taking it all the way down to 110. Uh -oh. Dickerson to the outside. Oh, a spin! And uh -oh. then a hesitation! Oh, and then it's Dickerson! He did the 30, 20, 10! This thing's gonna be tied! I would, I, you know, that's a, that's a really unfortunate play right there if you're Skimbo. You need Pat Tillman to make that tackle, but you should have just stayed clicked on and conservative tackled him yourself. You clicked off, that gives him an opportunity to be to, to get juked or spun. Just just really, really unfortunate play there by for Skimbo, but Stevie J staying composed, going to the run right there. If he, did, if he gets stopped on that play, it's, he's going to be a in a tough situation, even if he did get the first down. Just, just had to score right there, and he does. Deion Sanders on the move. And gets driven backwards to around the 20. So here's the bounce out. 66 yards and that spin, the hesitation, and bye. Yep, you see Skimbo clicked on that Pat Tillman, but just for a second, and then when he clicked back off of him, he kind of dumbed out, you know, you've got to make that go! tackle. All right, so not to be a dork about this, Mo, but the only issue is... 55 seconds are now gifted to Skimbo, right? I mean, you, you took is, it all the way in because there's the green grass. This is plenty of time for Skimbo. He's, he knows exactly what he's got to do. He's not going to miss reads like that one. You can't give that up. Timeout taken, one remaining for Skimbo. So now, you know, we had talked about 13-10 being the, the likely final score for Skimbo. Now we're looking at 2017. Yep, uh, you know, it's easy to be wrong in this game, you know, so, and, and, and that's exactly, you know, Skimbo is, is going to air the ball out. You know, I like Stevie J going to zone because Skimbo is so comfortable against that man-to-man -man defense. He's got the corner out, though. Andrew Ooh. Luck will just take it and skip out of bounds. And Great. again, right, I mean, Mo, all you're looking for is around the 30-yard line, even the 34-yard line to kick that walk-off field goal. If you can get to the 35, most players are comfortable. But right there, that was phenomenal stick work by both players. Stevie J gets clicked onto that slot corner and maybe able to make it where Skimbo can't throw the corner out, but Skimbo just takes the scramble anyways. Stevie J taking a chance right here on defense. Andrew Luck getting chased. And finding Logan, who cannot quite get the first down. But we're down to 35 seconds to go. He's just short of field goal range, too. This is a really tricky situation if you're Skimbo. You've got to pick up yards on this play or throw the ball out of bounds. The owner of three championship belts already, Michael Skimbo. Three of the 15 belts that have been awarded in history. I don't love Skimbo going to far tight slot right here. If Stevie J is able to blow this up in the backfield, he's not going to be able to get, get in field goal range. I do not love this call. Skimbo's taking up way too much of the clock right here as well. This is not good by Skimbo. This is really poor management. Wow, down to 10 seconds left. And he blows it up. Wow, it's Taylor one more time. He's not in field goal range. If you're Stevie J, you got to play defense for five seconds without, without letting Skimbo get out of bounds. He cannot make this field goal. There's no way. No timeouts for Skimbo. Steven Goskowski is the kicker and he kicked it perfect. What do you think? 57? For the walk-off? Nope. On the crossbar! No! And if he doesn't lose two yards right there, he's going to be able to make that field goal. I didn't even know that he had Goskowski as his kicker. He's able to kick it from a little bit deeper than we've, than we've seen that thick and kick it. But Skimbo, you cannot lose yardage. You should have just taken the clock down and kicked your game-winning field goal from the 38. You would have made it. But you called this thing way before it happened. Tony Romo, Mo, just a little bit beyond the range, even for Goskowski, and that was tantalizing. It hung on the top of that cross. I thought, I thought he was going to sneak it in there, but he just couldn't. But Skimmo, he gets the ball right back. And remember, we're playing the, the regular NFL overtime rules, so if Skimbo can march on down and get this thing in the end zone, that's game, set, match. Oh, my God. I just shot myself in the foot, man. I can't believe Skimbo, knowing that he can kick the field goal from the 38, came out and ran that fullback dive, knowing that people know how to stop that in the backfield now. 
Just a little bit questionable there, but he, he got him stuck on his D tackle. Andrew Luck getting some yards here. And driven out of bounds just past midfield. So when you hear me talk about he, get, he got him stuck on his D tackle, so a lot of people, they like to use her a linebacker or a safety because they're able to play much better coverage. But when you get stuck on that defensive tackle, you're not able to play any coverage, and the pass rush is going to be much worse. So once, once you see somebody on the defensive tackle, somebody's either wide open or when you have that escape artist, you're able to scramble with the quarterback very easily. Kratobin and Drini next. Kratobin's already advanced in overtime. Somebody here is going to advance in overtime as well. It's funny, this thing started today with a couple games that were kind of a shrug. Anything but. As we get down towards the end of competition here on this Tuesday, Andrew Luck. He's got, is he going to try it? Yes, he is. Going deep for Hester, oh. knocked away. That's got to be picked off if you're Stevie J. You just, you need that to be a pick. That's a bad read by Skimbo right there. But that's how Skimbo plays. You know, he's number one in pass yards per game, but he's 19th in interceptions. So he will make some mistakes down the field. But the thing is, he, he's constantly going back to the well, going for those deep plays. Very much like Pavin, right? Kind of a, a high risk, high reward kind of thing. And on a second down and 10 with Hill split out wide left. Look for the corner out. God damn. Not open yet, and he'll just throw it away. He bumped it. Now, if he can maneuver in the field goal range, I mean, that's great, but that doesn't win it. Uh, you know, it's third and ten. All, all Scammo's worry about is getting this first down. Probably going to see deep corner right here. I love the adjustment that Stevie J made. He's not playing that super bend, don't break. He's taking a little bit more of a chance on defense, and he's going to just guard that corner out himself. Number one pass game against the number one pass defense. That's what we're looking at here oh in God, overtime. Luck going way backwards before oh looping God. it out of bounds. Skimbo's probably going to go for this, but I really wouldn't mind seeing a punt. He plays phenomenal defense. Oh, he is going to punt. I love it. I love it by Skimbo. Be confident in your defense because you are one of the better defensive players in the world. Stevie J made some adjustments here against your offense. Make, make, let him make the mistake. You don't need to make the mistake. Let your defense go win you this game. Problem is, a field goal now uh -oh. could win it. And that Ooh. one, oh, wow, that was close oh, on that pylon, wasn't it? That was game. almost the one-yard line. He would have been right at the inch-yard line if that just goes out of bounds just a little bit sooner. Almost a perfect punt right there by Skimbo. I thought that was going to push the pylon right over. But instead, it's Tom Brady at the 20. And again, that's just so jarring to see Brady trying to get it done against New England. Eric Dickerson, nothing. You know, we've seen Stevie J audibling around, audib audibling around a lot, making Skimbo really uncomfortable on defense. And on the first play of this overtime for his offense, he just comes out and snaps halfback dive. I'd like to see him audible back and forth, make Skimbo uncomfortable. You see Pat Tillman dropping back in coverage. About. Yep. Look for the stretch left. Oh, you had the stretch left. You had the numbers over there. But now it's closed back up as the play clock is down and a timeout taken. Yeah, it looked like Skimbo called the timeout right there. You know, if I, if I was Skimbo, I kind of liked my defensive set, you know, my defensive look right there versus that play. What are you looking for here at second and nine? You see anything? I think he's, I think he's going to go back to the stretch. He's going to try to try to get his, get the numbers on his side. And it does look like he has the stretch numbers over to the left. It's going to come down to whether or not Skimbo can make the play with his user. He's got the two tight ends blocking. Dickerson spinning but can't get inside. The tight ends were blocking outside. So now a third and nine. And if you're Skimbo, this is exactly why you punted. If you would have said, if I can get Stevie J to third and nine, I'll punt here every time, he would have punted every time because he knows Stevie J is not comfortable passing the ball. Can you play defense for one down? And on the other side of this, if Stevie J gets stopped here without, without throwing a turnover, I wouldn't be surprised to see him punt it right back. Huge third and nine coming. Nothing. And nobody free yet. Oh. oh, he found Harrison. Move those chains. And it's yeah, let's yeah, go yeah, Buffalo. And that's a crucial user error by Skimbo right there. He was holding wide, so what happened is his player animated behind him, but he had no chance of picking the ball off. If he would have just stayed clicked onto him and made the tackle, he would never get the first down there. Dickerson oh. smashed by a now cheesed off Tillman. Now, Mo, one thing to that's keep in mind, ideal. Stevie J's got Graham Gano is his kicker. That's the guy who once hit a 63 yarder. So you don't ideal. necessarily have to get it as close as if you just had some random guy, right? I'd like to see these guys spinning some cap on their kicker. We didn't see that very much early on. No fluky, no more fluky. God. Yeah, Dickerson can't escape.